Hello and welcome to the 2014 Utica Home Track Series here in North Carolina. This is the qualifier events for the third race of the season. Now, we have three qualifier events as always. The top ten drivers in each segment will make it into the main event, while positions 11 through 15 will go to an LCQ. Top two cars in the LCQ will advance to the main event. Ten cars are already locked in based on their driver points going into this event. And we actually have a couple of new faces in the field, so the entry list is even higher. We have 32 cars in each event instead of the standard 30. These are the drivers that are going to be in your first qualifier event. As they scroll past the screen, we will meet the first driver that's going on track now to lay down some times. That's Nikki Allen, car number 90 for the Allen Racing family. Now, Nikki Allen made her first start of the season last week in the Bethesda ring. And she had a very good performance until that race was cut short by rain. Now, Nikki Allen is a moderately experienced driver in the Utacom Track Series, has had some experience and has been driving a car since the end of 2012. But uh, Nikki Allen hasn't seen too much in the way of success. She's hoping to get that number 90 car a good run as currently she is the fastest car on the racetrack as she was the first to come off pit road, but uh, I expect some drivers will beat it. In fact, someone has beaten it already, and that would be the number 19 car of James Silverfox. And let's take a look at him now. Now, James Silverfox has had a rough season at the current moment. The first two events did not go as planned. His teammate Charles Sands has actually been running a little bit better in car number 9. He made the Bristol event. But struggles at Bristol uh, prevented him from making the show, and he also had a huge issue in the possessed ring. And it looks like Cameron Pemberton, car number 66, got a piece of the wall, and he went around. We'll have to take a look at that as James Silverfox, currently the fastest on track. He actually is going to get kicked down a little bit, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's take a look at what happened to Cameron Pemberton, car number 66. Now, it looks like, oh man, he just clipped the wall, got turned by uh, Pichu London. And fortunately, he didn't wreck that car any worse. Now, Cameron Pemberton yet to have made a race in the Udcom Track Series. There is Karen Minazuki, car number 09. She's the driver that took the top of the charts. Now, Karen Minazuki uh, surprised a lot of people last week at the Bethesda Ring, making the race and having a decent run in that car that was slated to be run with someone else. Minazuki having a great effort, and it looks like she's not on top of the board anymore, as Nikki Allen, car number 90, tracks fastest on track once again. So, a highly contested qualifier event, as you see a lot of drivers on track at the moment. Eric Bush joining the circuit, as uh, Jerry Guerra, car number 7, trying to follow. It looks like uh, Nikki Allen pulling low. I'm not sure if she's going to pull it down pit road for now, and she does. So, she's going to work on the setup and oh two cars get into the wall E.G. Robinson and the one of the new drivers Biggie Spencer car number 86 now they're looking for a second ride for uh, Biggie Spencer's father to uh, join the series they are still working on that though they may not have it until race 5 but uh, Biggie Spencer not much known about this driver fairly new on the scene we'll have to see what he can do in that Coca-Cola Dodge but he pulls it down pit road with E.G. Robinson and there's some contact in the wall I think Let's see uh, who got around this time. And, oh, it looks like it might have been Dom Caps. He's running close to Colin Bartel. Bartel gets the wall and gets right into Dom Caps. Caps spins the 24 car around, but uh, keeps it off the walls and uh, keeps it driving. He'll probably bring it back down pit road, as we have reported that there's been a change for the lead. Jerry Guerra, who's currently on pit road, um, got the fastest lap while we were at the replay. Now we take a look at Makoto Gucci, who is actually taking it for herself. So, Makoto Gucci, car number 77, showing strength not only on the road courses, but on the speedways. Now, a uh, heavily talked about driver, car number 77. We were expecting a lot of great things out of her after that magnificent finish at Myrtle Beach last year in the top, I believe it was a top five finish for her. And uh, she is starting to deliver this season. We take a look at car number 94, Hunter Fellows. He currently sits in 10th place. He's the transfer spot if you want to make the race without having to go to the LCQ. Hunter Fellows had a great run at the Bethesda ring, and the Dion Scott team has all three of the drivers here today. Um, Dion Scott coming in a later heat. 
They were going to try and see if they can get the entire bunch in the pack as uh, the Canadian Hunter Fellows works his way around the circuit. Cameron Pemberton, car number 66, is currently 15th on track despite the spin. Now, it's not the best. He's currently the cutoff point for making the LCQ, but at least he has a second opportunity if he needs it. The Pemberton group has been having a lot of issues this season. And, whoa, there's, uh, there's a lot of smoke on the back stretch. And I think that might be Pichu London. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, yep, Pichu London, car number 15. Looks like he made some heavy contact with the wall. Uh, let's check a replay and see what happened. Now, he was running up on the high side of the racetrack. It gets a little too aggressive, gets into the wall, gets... Oh, man, pancaked into the wall by Sam Young. And we have a report that they are taking the backup off the holler. So trying to get something out of this session. Though it might be lost for car number 15 as they limp their way back to the garage area. And we have a fastest lap yet again while we were on replay. Hidoki Tanaka, car number 03 for Tokyo Racing. This is the first time he's been on top of the board. And he's yet to make a race in this series. So great effort by the young rookie driver from Japan. Prince Hiljohn, car number 79, has been having a decent run today. Fourth place in that newly sponsored machine. They have a sponsorship with Haviland, and they're going to see how long that can last. It's not a set-in-stone, full-season sponsorship, but Prudence Littlejohn, a talented short-track racer running a limited schedule this season, splitting that ride with several other cars like Brian Valentine, who's going to be in the car next week for the Utica Rome Speedway. Prudence Little John, a great qualifying ever, looking to make her first start of the season, and I believe her second start overall in the Utica Track Series. Um, the second of two new drivers that is in this particular qualifier is Mary Fitzgerald, who's part of the Angel Navarro team. Fitzgerald driving car number 39, trying to make it to the show, but uh, this car has been pretty slow on track, 29th out of 32 cars. It's going to take a miracle for Fitzgerald to work that number 39 machine into the show. But the other drivers of that team that are new to the track, Angel Navarro, who is a NSCRA regular, and Sam Crawford, who's driving the 49 car for that team. They're slated to come up in a later segment, I think qualifier number two. But we continue to Max Watson, car number 28. Now, he got the fastest time at the Bethesda ring, and it came as a shock to everyone. As not many people know this driver... He currently sits second overall in this segment. So Max Watson, car number 28, having a great effort today in his single car effort. The German driver as he passes Sam Young in the inside. Sam Young not tracking the best on the circuit. It's looking iffy if he might make the race or not. But segment starting to come to a close. Max Watson in a good spot right near the top of the charts. Uh, Hidoki Tanaka has not been dislodged from that position just yet. We have a spin on the front straightaway. Let's see what happened. It was Chloe Pemberton this time. So the Pemberton gang spun around in that turn all day as Nikki Allen makes some contact. Chloe Pemberton was tracking a little slow around track, not as close to the top 10. So a uh, bitter day for Chloe. Eric Bush, car number 45, is currently sitting in the 15th position. He's currently the driver that's on the bubble to make it in. I think Hunter Fellows is also outside the top 10, but in the top 15. So if all else fails for the Dion Scott cars, they can try and work their way into the show. As you see, uh, I want to talk about that driver on the inside there, E.G. Robinson, car number 70. E.G. Robinson, she's been having a very rough day. If that car just keeps getting into the wall and they've brought down Pit Road numerous times, she is the slowest on track at the moment. And uh, it's looking very unlikely that car number 70 will make the show. As, oh man, into the wall again, almost got into Colin Bartell, and Bartell is actually just slightly behind Eric Bush. In fact, he is a thousandth of a second behind Eric Bush. That's the battle for 16th, and Colin Bartell doesn't have anything for him. So they all had the pit road. Hidoki Tanaka, car number 03, is going to be the fastest in the segment as the session is over. Let's take a look at the drivers that are going to be in your field. Hidoki Tanaka, Max Watson, Makoto Iguchi, Jerry Guerra, Prudence Little John, Dom Cap, Seth Cole, Nikki Allen, Karen Minazuki, and Cameron Pemberton. Pemberton and Tanaka are making their first starts. And going to the LCQ are Pericles, Walker, Fellows, Sanfer, and Eric Bush. Let's take a look at who's in qualifier number two. In qualifier number two, we have Alex DeMarco, Jake Williams, Brandon Bain, Adam Kendrick. 
Cecil Brooks, Ronnie DiPetrio, Brian Judge, Charles Sanford, Saya Asumi, Sean Angel, Harrison Langford, Jordan Culp, Michael Downing, Jack Richards, Jonathan Bentons, Dion Scott, Angel Navarro, Joey Beatty, Alex Tanker, Leah Walker, Sam Crawford, Joe Simoniego, Neil Evans, Anthony McCreary, Derek Pemberton, Michelle Sayadino, Kyle Austin, Joseph Bryant, Daniel Voiles, Chris Dollerton, Robert Piet, and Alex Allen. And the first car on track for this 10-minute session will be Ronnie DiPetro, car number two. Ronnie DiPetro only has one Unicorn Track Series start to his name that came at Bristol earlier in the season. Um, a decent finish for him for his first start, but uh, not one of the better ones. He did go out of the event along with most of the field. But he's back this week, coming off that failed to qualify from uh, the Bethesda ring. And he's hoping to get that card number two for the Fat Dog Racing Team in this race. Now, all three of the Fat Dog Racing cars are in this qualifier event. So all three of them are going to have to make an attempt as teammate Adam Kendrick comes on track right behind the number two. So either we'll get a couple of them in here in this session, none of them will make it in, or all three will make it in. As uh, some contact with the wall, DiPetro is going to lose that lead that he had coming off pit road to Michael Downing, car number 30. Now, Michael Downing, car number 30, is running for the Austin Racing Team. He made some noise at uh, Bethesda Ring, having a decent time for a while, but uh, he wasn't able to keep it up. Michael Downing bringing it down pit road as he is currently your top spot for the race. Joe Simoniego, car number 53, last week's winner under rain delay, is currently running in fifth place and he feels like he has a good car that he might be able to get into the show. Simoniego was overjoyed that he won that race. He wishes he could have done it under better weather conditions, but he's happy to get that win in his first career start. Now, if he can make the race today and get a solid finish, he might be able to work his way into the top 10. He just missed that honor, as a couple of the other drivers up there uh, had great runs at the Bethesda ring. But this time is going pretty well as he comes to the line. Looks like he might improve on it. No contact with the wall, and he brings it up to third. So Simoniego looking strong for making the race. Adam Kendrick, car number one, is actually now on top of the standings. He took it while we were talking about Joe Simoniego. The Australian driver running for the Fat Dog Racing Team makes some hard contact with the wall. But uh, Adam Kendrick and the rest of that team have been very impressive. An unknown team coming on track and just showing these veterans how it's done. Now, they haven't been a flawless team as uh, they've not made every single race, but Kendrick made the uh, Bristol event and led some laps. Brian Judge... Uh, made the Bethesda ring and got a great finish out of it. And Ryan DiPetro made the Bristol event as well. Charles Sanford, car number nine, currently running on... Whoa, 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 he's going to get spun. And that car is going to save it. Charles Sanford, uh, the other of the Cybertron machines, trying to get their car in the field. James Silverfox has already failed by two positions. Angel Navarro, car number 38, making his debut. The uh, teammate car of Mary Fitzgerald was in the last event, but had a dismal qualifying effort, qualifying 30th overall in that segment. Angel Navarro is actually currently first on track, so Navarro having a great start for that number 38 machine. Sean Angel, car number 14, the Canadian. He had a high hope going into Bristol. He was able to get a good finish, but unfortunately... Got caught up in an early wreck, finished pretty poorly. Then he had high hopes for the Bethesda ring, that he would make it since he's good at these road courses, and failed to qualify. So now he's going to have to make another effort today to try and make the field. Sean Angel, a quality driver, but not having the best luck this season. He currently sits 15th overall, which is just barely locked into the LCQ. Derek Pemberton, car number 65, is your new leader. Now, Derek Pemberton, he has only made a start in the Utica Survival Series, but other than that, completely new to this co type of competition. Pemberton on top of the board. Now, teammate Cameron Pemberton's already in the show, qualifying 10th in his qualifier event, despite the spin. Chloe Pemberton's out. Pemberton is the on track right now. Derek he, uh, is the last chance for his team. Alex DeMarco, car number double zero. Currently sits in the 10th place position. He's at the very tail end of drivers locked in. And he's got a little help from Jonathan Bettens. 
Uh, I want to talk about Jonathan Benton's for a little bit. Um, we got clarification on what that top-notch racing sponsor entails. They said they're going to give him a couple of chances, but if he is missing races or having a lot of poor performances, they might retract their sponsorship. So extra incentive for Benton's to get on track. And Alex DeMarco trying to keep in locked-in contention like he was last year. Robert Piat, car number 95, after making some contact with the wall, still having a great time running second overall. The Dutch driver has had a difficult start to the 2014 season. He failed to qualify for both events. Sona, of course, has failed to qualify for both events so far, and Debbie Myers only qualified for Bristol, but had a terrible finish. I think she was the last place finishing car. Robert Piat brings it to Pitt Road, second place, a great run overall. Jordan Kolb, car number 25, sits in third place. Now, Jordan Kolb, we were talking about um, the potential he had at the Bethesda ring, but just came up short. It might not be the case this time, as that car has some good equipment underneath it, and they've been fast all session long. They run right behind uh, Daniel Voiles on track. But Kolb confident that he can get this 25 in the machine. Now that they have to get car number 18 of Greg Miller in the show, which I believe he's coming up in the third heat. Deion Scar, car number 36, currently running 7th on track. We want to talk about him briefly because he was the runner-up last week. He lost last week due to the rain delay and was pretty upset about that. They were, he was hoping that they would keep it green flag racing, and he got passed on that last lap. One mistake cost him that victory. It would have been his first Jude Comb Track Series win. Now he's going to try again this week and try and make the show. The car not running too poorly, running 7th on track, which is currently in competition. We'll have to see how things go if he can keep it up there. Car number 53, Joseph Maniego, has fallen off since the beginning. His original good times have been easily beaten, and this car has been unable to perform at that same level. Joseph Maniego currently running 20th on track, which is 5 positions out of LCQ competition. So Maniego brought to Pit Road saying they felt they had an issue with the car. So uh, hopefully nothing too bad. They bring it back out on track trying to trying desperately to uh, bring up their lap times. But uh, Joseph Maniego... Oh, we got we got some smoke on the front straightaway. Who could that be? Daniel Voiles. Oh, contact! Um, Dollar Chain gets into the wall. And it looks like uh, Voiles gets turned by Culpa. Great save by Daniel Voiles. Now, uh, Daniel Voyle's not having one of the best runs on track. He's uh, pretty low on the charts, and that spin's not going to help him out. Now, we talked about in the last segment that Cameron Pemberton spun and was able to rally back. Charles Sanford spun early in this session. is currently running third overall. So Charles Sanford having a great run today, as you see uh, Jake Williams in the uh, foreground. Sanford looks like he will most likely get that number nine car in the show. There is Alex Tanker running in 14th. We haven't been talking about Tanker Motorsports this season. They've been kind of submissive compared to all these other drivers, especially a lot of these new rookies. But Tanker currently in 14th. LCQ um, potential. And this car has been picking up these past couple laps, so chance of him making the top 10 is pretty high. He's running next to one of the faster cars in the session. Angel Navarro, and doesn't seem to be losing him too much. Brandon Bain, car number 01, is currently the slowest car on track. And Brandon Bain, who had such a good run at Bristol and at the Bethesda ring, might just find himself out of the North Carolina event. Now, Bain is not completely out yet. There's still a couple of other people near the bottom that uh, are running slowly. If he can pick some spots up, he might be able to work his way up there, but... The session is winding down, and he only has a couple laps to do it. And as you see, Charles Sanford just rocketing by him. I don't think he's top 10 potential. Sam Crawford, car number 49, is the other newbie driver in the session. Sam Crawford running on the same team as Fitzgerald and Navarro. Um, the 49 is currently sitting in 25th place. Make that 14th place with that great time. So now he's in the LCQ as uh, Sam Crawford. I don't know too much about this driver. I know he's with Angel Navarro, who is a... Uh, recurring character in the NSCRA, but Crawford going around one more time, and uh, we look at Joey Beatty quick, as uh, Joey Beatty is running in sixth place, and we just got a report that 
car number 49 ran third place overall. So it looks like we cut away from him too soon as Sam Crawford is going to work his way into the show. Joey Beatty running in sixth place overall. Having a great effort. He's going to make the show. And the session ends. Derek Pemberton, Robert Piet, Sam Crawford, Charles Sanford, Angel Navarro, Ronnie DiPaccio, Jordan Culp, Joey Beatty, Chris Dalton, and Alex Tanker are all in the show. Leia Walker, Dion Scott, Anthony McCurry, Neil Evans, and Adam Kendrick all go to the LCQ. Everyone else in the session it fails to qualify. Let's see who's in. Qualifiers. Joshua Michaels, Gabriel Montoya, Nathan Minazuki, Zachary Robinson, Skylar Dixon, Tina Anderson III, Matt Evans, Courtney Miller, Greg Miller, Julian Kennebles Jr., Ian Dutta, Skylar Johnson, Charles Jackson, Cassandra Renzi, Michael Aurelio, Nick Pericles, Megan Curley, Dylan Young, Chris Washer, Thomas Beatty, Alex May, Zach Sasser, Joseph Ernesto, Dominic Cousins, Brock McMahon, Connor Germain, William Duncan, Brendan Patterson, Matt Duell, Stephen Carter, Sona Kors, and Ryan Astabomi are your drivers for your third qualifying heat. Dominic Cousins on track right now in the number 63 machine for Hyundai Young Motorsports. Now Dominic Cousins ran the past two events and uh... The first race he failed to qualify, last race he made it to the Bethesda ring and had a decent finish. It wasn't the best, it, things could have gone better for him, but uh, Dominic Cousins back this week trying to uh, make it work. More drivers coming onto the racetrack, there's the 43 of Nick Pericles, Zachary Robinson also coming out here. So this Canadian driver, they haven't fully announced what the driving arrangements are yet. Uh, if Dominic Cousins is going to continue being in that car or when uh, Mark Olivia Valorand is going to pop in. There's Jonathan Benton's car number 35. Oh, wait, sorry, that's uh, car number 62 of Joseph Ernesto. Joseph Ernesto is currently running in 8th position on the racetrack. Things are looking good for Ernesto, who has failed to qualify for every race this year so far. And he's trying to reclaim that former glory he had at Kailami. Megan Curley, car number 46, sitting in 6th position on the racetrack. Megan Curley, back in the uh, traditional paint scheme, uh, failed to qualify last week. And is hoping to get another great finish to try and work away into the top 10. And whoa, contact! Eric and Rage gets... Oh, whoa, ho oh, oh. Eric and Rage, I'm sorry, uh, Cassandra Renzi, car number 22, almost got turned around. But uh, somehow they all saved at one more angle of this. Cassandra Renzi running to the high side. Makes contact. Gets into Megan Curley and Matt Duell. All three drivers keep it going. So despite that near wreck, everyone keeps driving. Now uh, we take a look at Michael Aurelio, car number 34. He took the lead while we were looking at that replay. We said last week that Michael Aurelio is back, and I don't think you can contest it. Michael Aurelio having a great race last weekend as we drive past that smoke that's still lingering. And he's currently first in this session. If he can keep it going, he might just be in the race and might be able to work his way into the top 10. Next, we take a look at car number 06, Skyler Dixon. He rounds out our top 10 drivers. He's running for Oreo Racing, which does not have every single driver in this race, I don't think. Uh, Amanda Pericles went up earlier and is in the LCQ. But Skylar Dixon trying to work his way into the show for his second career start. His first start was at Bristol. Now car number 92 is locked in but car number 29 is supposed to be on track. Skylar Johnson, the replacement driver for Air Shock, wrecked both her primary and her backup in the first practice session. So they took one of the Jeffrey Finn guy backup cars and brought it onto the racetrack. They're going to uh, paint it the, like the number 92 machine, sorry, the number 29 machine, uh, if they make the race. But at the current moment, Skylar Johnson making her debut start of the season in a Finn guy backup. Now she made only one attempt before for JFI, and that was at Myrtle Beach in 2012. She failed to qualify for the show. Matt Evans, car number 13, is coming onto the racetrack and is trying to work in a lap time now. Matt Evans, there's no doubting that he is a great race car driver. He is the winningest driver in the Utica Home Track Series with seven victories, three of them coming in a row. 
And I believe he's the only driver that's won in every single season of competition. Seasons 1, 2, and 3, he went to Victory Lane. So far this season, has not seen Victory Lane, and has actually missed a race. Last week at the Bethesda Ring is his first time. He's currently sitting 7th on the board. He wants to try and keep it safe over there. Zach Sasser, car number 59, making his debut in the Utica Home Track Series. First time on track attempting, and he's actually driving a very interesting car. This is a very old top-notch racing car that uh, Joseph Vanessa used to drive. They've literally taped the number 59 to the front of it, and this car is actually a Chevy. They taped Alfa Romeo logos to the front of it. Charles Jackson gets some contact with the wall, but Sasser crosses the line. He currently sits in the 20th position, so he'll have to improve. So, and of course, car number 96, first on the board as we have three wide racing right in front of her. The Dutch driver, part of the Piet Motorsports team, trying to make her first Utica Home Track Series start. Um, Robert Piet, her teammate, is already in the show, and uh, Debbie Myers is going to be heading to the holler. She's hoping to uh, not have to rely on the LCQ to make the event. And with a time like that, one of the, actually the fastest time that's been run today, at 21.796. We look back at Matt Evans, he's up to third place on track. Matt Evans having an amazing effort in that number 13 machine. Trying his best to make sure he does not repeat what happened at the Bethesda ring last week. Now we want to take a look at another driver that we haven't covered very much this season. Alex May, card number 56, he currently sits in 11th position. Now Alex May has gotten a lot of screen time in the Utica Rallycross series. We've talked about him a lot and praised him for being such a great up-and-coming driver, but it's just not been coming together in the Utica Home Track series so far. Two starts and two disappointing qualifying positions. He's yet to make his Utica Home Track series debut in a race. This is the closest he's been, running 11th on track. He's hoping not to let Seth Cole down and to get his number 56 Yankees machine into the race. Joshua Michaels, car number 04, is currently running in the third position. Now, uh, Joshua Michaels, decent driver in his own right. He's had a lot of trouble with his former team, but the 04 car, I believe this is his second race in a row that he's going to make. So Michaels trying to uh, climb the points ladder and make it into the top 10. He's battling with Julian Kennebleth Jr., who uh, had some hardships throughout this year. Nick Pericles, car number 43 coming onto the track. He sits in fifth place at the moment. Nick Pericles came in late into the 2013 season, making his debut at the Batista Bowl. Now, we're not going back to that racetrack, but uh, Pericles has left some impression, and that team is back this year trying to have a successful run at it. It's not been the smoothest ride as uh, Pericles, his uh, sister Amanda, and Dixon have been struggling to make the races, but they've all have at least one star under their belt. Nathan Minazuki, car number 05, running in 6th place overall. Now, Nathan Minazuki in the 05 machine, this is his inaugural season in the Utica Home Track Series, has yet to make a start yet, though. Um, teammate and sister Karen Minazuki has made the field, and he's hoping that today can be his day, as uh, he looks pretty uncontested. Car number 78 of Connor Germain is running in 7th place at the moment. The French driver came in last season as the official full-time, well, full at that point in the year, driver for the 12th machine instead of uh, Joey Beatty or Zach Saturday. But uh, Connor Germain has proven himself, and he's on track right now. Had a great run at the Bethesda Ring. If he can make the show today, he might just have a chance to crack that top 10 with a solid finish. Now we want to take a look up near the front of the track. There's Dylan Young, car number 50. He's having a great time, and he's going to go from 23rd to 6th place. Now, he's running in this draft line with Tina Anderson the third and Chris Washer, so that may have contributed to him being helped. But uh, Dylan Young trying to pull together a season that hasn't been the best from the start. He was locked into the Bristol event, but the Bethesda ring just went down south. He might just make it in this time. 
Charles Jackson, car number 32, has been picking up on his lap times lately. He was the slowest car on the track, or at least one of the slowest, running in 31st place. He's now currently running in 23rd position. And as he comes to the line, he's now your fourth fastest car. So Charles Jackson, car number 32, went from one of the worst cars in the session to one of the best true Charles Jackson fashion. And it looks like he might make the show as we're very late in the session. One final thing, it looks like William Duncan, car number 83, the defending champion, will miss his first race since the 2012 season. He currently sits 37th on track, and this car has not been picking up. He's actually running slower than Gabriel Montoya, who is running 25th fastest on track. So, unfortunate for him, he will fail to make the event. Let's take a look at the drivers who will make it, though. Sona Kors, in her first start, Michael Aurelio, Joshua Michaels. Charles Jackson, Megan Curley, Nick Pericles, Dylan Young, Nathan Minazuki in his first start, Connor Jermaine, and Skyler Dixon. Johnson, Carter, Evans, Duda, and Astabomi go to the LCQ. Let's look at that now. Fifteen cars battling for two positions. So these are all the drivers that were positions 11 through 15 in the previous three qualifier sessions. Some big names on this list and a lot of rookies, so we'll have to see who can take those two spots in the event. And the first car on track is Ryan Estebomi, car number 99, driving for Row 1 Racing. Now, they're halfway in the event. Henry Nova is in the show, for sure. He was locked in going into this race weekend. His teammate Gabriel Montoya failed to qualify. So now either Estebomi makes it in or goes home. Now, uh, Estebomi made it last week at the Bethesda ring and had a decent finish. So he's hoping to take his skills to the speedway and be able to maybe on the in the full main event be on the front row for front row motorsports. There's a sorry, row one racing. Um Leo Walker pulling on track underneath and contact with the wall. Ryan Estebone comes to the line. He's currently the fastest on the circuit. As uh, we go through the turn, we actually have a new person that's gone on top of the board. The driver that came out right after him, Neil Evans, car number 55. He was tracking much faster than Ryan Astabomi, and we knew it before he even got to the line. Neil Evans, car number 55, an experienced driver, been here since the 2012 season. Got his first win last year at Mosport, and so far has made every race on the schedule. Now, uh, Neil Evans, still having one of the quickest times on the racetrack. Impressive driver, and along with his teammate and son, Matt Evans, they're both in this event. Maybe they could take the top two spots and be father and son qualifying for the event. Which seems likely, as Matt Evans, car number 13, comes to the line. He's tracking really well. Let's see what he can pull off. Now he's the fastest on track. So Matt Evans, the Black Mamba, is going to strike here at the Rockingham Speedway. So it's father-son, 1-2 on track, just to show you how great these cars are this weekend. Now let's take a look at another driver. Uh, we mentioned them a little... Wait a second, wait a second. Before we head to that driver, Neil Evans has just taken the top time back. So not only are they dominating the top two spots, they're actually competing with each other pretty actively. Now, uh, both of them have a lot of short track racing experience, and they've occasionally duked it out on the dirt. They'll be going to their home track next week, but uh, right now they're already starting the uh, family competition. Now the driver we we're going to talk about, Leia Walker, car number 47, third place on track, just barely outside that top two. Now, Walker made the first race of the season at Bristol, but I uh, got caught up in a wreck with uh, unable to finish the event. Walker trying her her hardest to uh, make the race, but uh, the current moment still stuck in that third place position. Deion Scott, car number 36, was so close to victory last week in the Bethesda ring, but sadly, he lost out due to the rain delay. Joe Simoniego took the victory. Joe Simoniego will not be in this race. He failed to qualify. So now, Dion Scott is trying to get in to maybe get some redemption. Now, his entire three-car team is in the race. Well, I mean, the LCQ. So there's a chance that one or maybe even more of them can make it. Luke Walker, car number 23, is currently 15th. He's the slowest car in the session. 
um, doing the complete opposite of his sister. Um, Luke Walker has yet to make a Utica Home Track Series start. He's made a couple attempts and uh, has not done especially well in these sessions, including the Royal Rumble, where he had a pretty pitiful run very early on. Card number 45, Eric Bush currently running in 10th place on track. Like we said, all three of the Dion Scott racing cars are in the LCQ, along with Hunter Fellows. Eric Bush needs to step it up a little bit. He's doing a little better than uh, Hunter Fellows, but uh, he can definitely pick it up. And actually, we forgot to mention, car number 36 is on top of the charts. Um, Ian Dutta, car number 27, is running in 7th place at the moment. Ian Dutta has been desperately trying to make these races, but uh, been coming up just short. And he's been a recurring driver in these LCQs only to just barely miss it. Adam Kendrick sitting in 14th. The speed he had in his qualifier session seems to have dropped off. They've been bringing this car to pit road every couple of laps to try and fix it. They are not happy with this car. Same with Amanda Pericles and uh, Henry Sanford, who all head down pit road. Hunter Fellows, car number 94, sitting in 11th place on track. The Canadian driver, uh, still waiting to uh, make that big break, has not been able to get it just yet, though uh, he, I believe he did qualify for the Bethesda ring. He didn't make too much of a showing there. He's trying his hardest to make Dion Scott proud. Car number 99, Ryan Astabomi has moved himself with this kind of run. It's looking good. He's currently second. Ryan Astabomi, second place overall on track. This will knock both of the Evans out since uh, Matt Evans got knocked out by uh, Deion Scott. This knocks out Neil. Stephen Carter, car number 91, running in eighth place. He's now qualified well enough to make the LCQ, but the question is, can he make the full event? Car number 91, a great driver, but uh, didn't seem the car is fully there just yet. So he brings it down pit road. Anthony McCurry, car number 61, running in 10th place. is a decent performance for him, but not good enough. He's been in the same boat as Ian Dutta, who's been trying to make his first Utica Home Track Series start, but has been coming up ever so short. He was in the uh, qualifier for Bristol and failed to make the qualifier for uh, on the Bethesda ring. But right now he's moving up a little bit. He's currently running ninth. He was 10th just a lap ago. So McCurry not out of it just yet. He's still improving on his time. As we take a look at car number 55, Neil Evans, he's back on track, but he's currently sitting in the third position. Now he's definitely not out of it, and car number 55 has been strong. They've made some adjustments, and he's going to try and take that MagnaFlow Mazda out on track and into the top two. Now, if you notice, we've had a lot of wrecks in these sessions. So far, pretty tame in this heat. We have less cars on track. That could be a factor with it. But uh, also, these are some of the uh, drivers that know their way around this track, they know what they're doing, and they're confident. They also don't want to make any unnecessary risks uh, that could ruin their chances to make the event. Car number 87, Amanda Pericles, running in 12th place, but this car has been really struggling. The Oriole Racing Machines have made the show with uh, Nick Pericles and Skylar Dixon, but Amanda is the last person on the roster. But uh, things not going well for her. She was running 12th. She actually moved back down the 13th. Neil Evans coming to pit road, and there's Skylar Johnson at number 92. Car number 20, Henry Sanford on track. Henry Sanford has not been making much of an impact out there, and he's been trying to make his first start, just hasn't been getting it there yet. That seems to be the big story with a lot of these drivers in this LCQ, though it's understandable. We have such a big entry list of over 100 cars attempting for 42 positions. You're bound to get drivers that just barely missed a cut. Luke Walker, car number 23, currently running in 8th place. Luke Walker has definitely improved. They made a pit stop main adjustment, and whoever made that adjustment should get a promotion. As this car has been on fire these last couple of laps, slowly picking their way up the charts. Coming around, this looks even faster. Let's see what he can get out of this. And it will be fourth. So great job for Luke Walker. 
as uh, we take a look at car number 45, who's also made similar adjustments. He is running 14th at the moment, but coming to the line, what can he get? It will be 5th. Great performance by him. And actually, Luke Walker, car number 23, has moved up to the top of the charts. So congratulations to him, as now he's the driver to beat. Car number 61, Anthony McCreary, has been working his way up the track, and he's running in 6th place. So even though this session is starting to come to a close, we are not done yet. As there's still a lot of top drivers that are trying to battle for those positions. Anthony McCreary not going to capitalize on that 6th place position this lap, but McCreary is running close. There's Eric Bush once more, and this car is not done yet. This is looking pretty fast as the session is coming to a close. What can he get? Second place. He just works his way in, and that knocks, looks like, Stephen Carter, car number 91. I don't know when he made it up there, but it looks like he was running second place at the time, and Luke Walker is going to be the fastest in the session. We end it for now. Two drivers make it through. They're Luke Walker and Eric Bush. Let's see who failed to qualify. The extensive list of drivers to fail to qualify includes some pretty big names. There's Alex DeMarco, Jake Williams, Brandon Bain, Adam Kendrick, Cecil Brooks, Brian Judge, Gabriel Montoya, Zachary Robinson, who was one of the top drivers of last year, Emily Ishter, Tina Anderson III, Saya Asumi, Megan Atkins, Matt Evans again, Sean Angel, Pichu London, Courtney Miller, Greg Miller, James Silverfox, Sanford, Langford, Colin Bartell, Julian Kennebles Jr., Dutta, Johnson, Downing, Richards, Renzi, Benton, Scott, Sam Young, Mary Fitzgerald, Kyle Corbett, Leia Walker, Chris Washer, Joseph Montiego, last week's winner, Beatty, Evans, May, Tanker, Sasser, McCreary, Onesto, Cousins, Pemberton, Austin, Citadino, Daly, Robinson, Austin, McMahon, Davis, Bryant, Voiles, all of the Duncan Motorsports cars, Spencer, Pericles, Duel, Carter, Fellows, Myers, Allen, and Asta Bomi. So that is the drivers that both failed and made the race. Join us for the main event.